Hello, welcome to Tony's Bonsai. The plan today is to do a root over rock with this beauty. And I've got a couple of options of plants. The two trees I've got are this semi-cascade hawthorn and um, a hemlock. I think it's an eastern hemlock. Both nice trees and I just need to decide which one will work best. We'll take a look at the rock in detail first. It's got three sides to it basically, and they slope up really nicely. This is quite vertical, this back one's vertical. But this is what I think is the best front. I think it, I like this little detail down here. I love the lines and the features. And this section here I think will be perfect to put a tree on, root over rock. Um, and it'll mean that the tree isn't at the highest bit. I don't want to plonk the tree on the top here. If you follow my channel, you'll have seen this tree before. This is a hawthorn. I asked what I should do with it, and people said I should turn it into a cascade. So this has been wired down in position. Not for that long, but it's been long enough for it to kind of set in this shape, which I think could work well with the rock. The second option is this hemlock. It's a Tsuga canadensis fantana. And apparently these have got quite um, a sprawling growth habit. So it'll not go too high. It'd be quite easy to keep fairly compact, which is ideal. And the trunk's quite nice. It's just a more of a standard kind of tree shape. I've got a lower branch here that I could probably remove. And I think I could create quite a compact tree with this. But it will be more traditional, like a small compact tree on the side of the rock so mm, I'm not sure it's a tricky decision of what to do this is such a tough decision I know the hawthorn well I'm used to the tree I would be able to easily put it on this rock it'll survive and it would work however I like to push myself out of my comfort zone if you will and I think this will be a real challenge and something different and I'm also in my mind is I'm going to do the big hawthorn planting on that large rock that was in my rock video that I did with my dad so in my mind I'm thinking I'm already going to have a hawthorn on limestone so why not go for something a bit different so let's go for this now that I've made up my mind that this tree is going on here I think the first thing to do is expose the roots and then work out where it's going to sit and how it's going to sit on this rock. I do have a tub. It's got a bit of soil in it. So I've got a washing up bowl. And that can go in there nicely. So I'll be able to cover the, all the roots with soil in this tub. I think that should work well. First things first then, I need to get the tree out of the pot and have a look at what I've got root wise. Now there are a lot of roots, but it's not heavily root bound, which is kind of ideal. That's what I want. Now I don't want something that's very, very pot bound because then I'll have to cut all those roots off. With this, I'm hoping that I'll just be able to kind of tease these roots away and have lots of roots to work with. So, you normally start at the sort of top and there is a bit of loose soil at the top but not too much but I think what I'll do once I've got that basic bit off the top is try and loosen this bottom section up See, this side here has just crumbled away. There's not as many roots on this side. Working through these roots. And hopefully not damaging them too much because, partly for the health of the tree, but as I say, also because I want to use these roots in the composition. If it's becoming a root over rock, I think this should be a good age of it for a tree to do this as well. If trees are too big and too old, the roots they're already fixed in position and they're very very difficult to move if they're too young then you've got to wait a long time 
Okay, let's rock and roll. <laughs> We've got our pot. I've used some of the soil that I took out of that pot and mixed it in with my bonsai soil because it just obviously really liked that. So I'll keep a bit of it in there. The rock then goes on. It doesn't really matter what orientation I have the rock in here. It kind of, it sort of has to go in diagonally for it to fit properly. And that leaves about an inch of soil under this, which is great. Now, in terms of the orientation of that rock, see how it looks like it's sloping down? I don't really like that. So I need to raise this end up. Simple process. Add a bit more soil there. Take a bit away from down there. And there, uh, I just think it looks a lot better when it's level. Because these rocks with this strata in nature, they tend to sit more or less horizontally. So to keep it looking natural, I think that'll be a, that'll be best. Okay, I've come in on a wide angle, so it foreshortens the rock and makes it look a bit distorted, but you can see what's going on. And I don't want to remove loads of roots off this, I definitely don't. And in terms of where I want the tree, ideally I want it on this ledge and I want roots coming down here and down there. Possibly coming round the back if there's any long enough for me to do that. Well there is, I've got some really long ones there so there are, there are roots. I also have, also have to look at the shape of the tree and decide where the front is. We've got well, a little branch that I've just pulled off. But we've also got this lower branch here. I'm going to leave it on for the time being. I'll take that little one off. And I think that makes a good front there with these two branches coming out. So hopefully one of these longer, longer roots at the back. Now these back ones are not particularly long, but I'm not going to ruin the orientation of the tree just for, just to get a root over the back. What I have got, I've got a couple of downward pointing roots that are stopping the root, the root base sitting on the rock. So I do need to take those off. It's these in particular down here. Some of them I can, I can kind of pull back like this. Any that I can pull up and pull back, I will do. But the, these, even that one there, can kind of come round. That can come round, in fact. It's that one there. That's it. Oh, wait. I think I've managed to kind of open them all up there and create a fairly flat base without having to cut any of the roots off, which I would much rather do. I, I really don't want to cut these roots off. So I'll just put the tree in the orientation that I want, which is here. There's a lot of roots here. I mean, there's loads of it. That's crazy. Too many. I mean, look at that. I don't know if that's ridiculous. Or can I kind of wrap these roots together like this, even twisting them a bit and sort of just pull them down in sections like that. And a lot of this finer root will probably die off in the future and leave me just with the thicker roots visible. But as I said, I, I, you know, I'm really, really loath to cut loads of these roots off. They can be a quite temperamental tree from what I know of them so far. From I've got, I think I've got two of them and they've not been the easiest trees to keep. So, and when I say keep, I mean keep alive. <laughs> so I'm just going for like a huge, 
massive roots coming all along like that. But I do want this rock to appear out there. As long as I can see this rock here, then this should hopefully work. I've got a particularly freaky route going upwards there that I don't want. Uh, but everything else stays. I'm quite happy for the tree to sit very tightly against the rock like that. So I don't need to protect the tree trunk from, from the rock. And all I'm doing now is coming right around like this. I'm pulling really tightly there with the vet tape. Letting that really grip down like that. So that's, pro that's providing a really good solid anchor there. The trunk is really nice and tight up against the rock. That's gone really well. And now the question is how do I hold these roots down into place? This is pretty tricky, I must admit. I've got a load of damp moss here and my plan is to just kind of mold the moss around like that and round here I've got some more moss it's just going on top and really it is quite wet and just squeezing it in nice and tight And the last bit, just over that side there, just pressed in to the roots. Yeah. Like that. My plan is to wrap the moss with the tape. Now, a good point, and I don't know the answer to this, is... Won't the roots just grow into the moss and not go down? But roots do naturally go down. They want to go downwards. So I'm not too concerned about that. Although, again, I don't really know the answer because this is quite experimental. Now that I've got that moss kind of in place, I think I can remove it from the pot just to allow me to secure this moss better like this. See, once we get down here, I don't really need the moss as much because there'll be soil there. But again, these roots here, if I can keep them nice and flat, and I'm effectively using the moss to just push, push those roots sort of tightly against the rock. And hopefully the damp moss will stop them from dying. I don't want the tree to air layer at the top, so I got to remove some of that moss from up there. It was better having too much. There we go. The big question now is, am I being completely daft? Or does this have a chance? <laughs> Fantastic, I love it. And then 
around this, I'm going to add a load of soil because in fact I'm going to fill this tub up because I want to give this every chance and I, I know that I need to hold the moisture in if I want it to if I want these roots to survive and, and that's really what it's about it's now about sort of looking after these roots and what I will do as well is I'll also just pile some moss on there it's the last of that packet of moss that I had so I'll put some moss on top of that and that will hopefully allow me to water it and not just wash all that soil off what I'm pleased with about this composition is the nice branching the position of this tree here how the back branch goes over the rock and I'm happy that I didn't have to cut any of the foliage off and I've pretty much cut none of the roots off. I think that gives it the best chance of survival. And round the back, as you can see, we've hopefully just got a few roots coming round this way. But the back's essentially just a lovely rock. I'm really glad I went for the hemlock and not the hawthorn and oh, just fingers crossed now that it makes it. As always, thanks for joining me. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.